obtaining firmware for RCT VM series inverter. Um, generally all of the RCT inverters firmware update the same except for the VM series. Um, you will find that it's a little bit more complex and a little bit more tricky however still easy to do and we'll quickly handle it in this video. Um, as with the previous firmware for the other models um, pay attention to the two cables that you need. Um, the grey cable comes standard with the inverter. Um, please do find this cable and use it and do not find one online. If you lost the cable it will not work if you buy a cable online. The pin outs for this cable is different for RCT model inverters. Um, so if you lost the cable then you do need to find one specifically made for the RCT inverters. Um, now obviously it's got the RJ45 plug on the one end with the serial plug on the other. Um, if you do not have a PC with the serial port then obviously you will need to find a cable, converter cable that can convert the serial configuration to USB. Um, so let's just get the two cables connected. Once they're connected the network port will go to the inverter side. And then obviously the USB will go to the notebook side. Now for argument's sake, on this inverter we have firmware U14302 that I need to update to U14304. Um, I will share the software to you, the files. Um, before we start that, go to your device manager look for your ports and then confirm what COM port you're currently using on your system this is critical needed for this firmware in this case I need COM3 looking at the software you will need to find this UPS reflash tool double click that now as you can see it automatically detect COM1 as I mentioned we need to now change it to as what you found in the device manager which is your COM3 another critical place is you need to specify where the file is at in this case I've saved the files onto my desktop click file desktop vm2 and then you can select the file it's ready to go now before we start make sure if you're using watch power program to monitor the inverter that it is closed so closing the file you do not see it in the taskbar at the bottom however it is still running in the background make sure you right click there click on exit and make sure it is not running in the background that will occupy your USB port and it will cause interference and will fail with the firmware update so while that is on We've selected the COM, we've selected the file, we can update firmware. We've heard the inverter clicking and we should just wait for the file to engage. This do sometimes take a while. There we go. The file is running. Look for the blue bar, progress bar. Currently on 3%, 4%, 5%. We'll be obviously finished at 100%. We'll meet again there.
Thank you very much. Okay, almost 100%, 99, 100, program successful. And the inverter started up again. U14304 is the latest firmware I've loaded onto this inverter. And that is how you update the firmware for the VM3 series. Click OK, click Exit, you're basically done here. I will however recommend for you, open up your watch power again. Uh, login, default password is administrator. Once you're logged in, device control, restore to the defaults and restore your defaults. Yes, setting successful. Reset your settings as needed and uh, the latest firmware should be on now and you're ready to go.